Welcome to School of Civil Engineering. This is Hidayatullah with another new video. In this video, I'll show you that how we'll find out types of column according to cylinderness ratio. So it is a important topic that uh, it's required at the time of building design that how we'll find out the column types according to cylinderness ratio. It's depend on some parameters. So I'll discuss about that topic. So let's start and you are new here if you new here you can watch our previous video already given in this description they have many civil engineering basic video like that and uh, also more software related video available in this channel so let's start so based on cylinderness ratio effective length divided by lateral dimension so what is cylinderness ratio cylinderness ratio will be the ratio of effective length and lateral dimension i mean less lateral dimension so i'll discuss about that in later so column are categorized as follow first of all short column so if we see if the ratio effective length of the b column to the latest lateral dimension is less than 12 i mean ratio of effective length of the column to lateral uh, latest lateral dimension of the column is less than 12 then the column is called as short column and uh, we all know that a short column phase by crushing okay pure compression failure then if we go another types of column it's long column and similarly it will be more than 12 I mean if the ratio of effective length of the column to the lateral dimension exists 12 I mean or if our slenderness ratio is more than 12 or the ratio of effective length of the column to latest lateral dimension is more than 12 then it's called as long column a long column failed by bending or buckling a lo long column failed by, by bending or buckling if we see in figure here so you can see that it's buckling and this is crushing or pure compression failure so now I will give an example that how will calculate that so for example how to find out short or long column I mean how will find out that who is our short or who is a long column using that building so first of all suppose here is the column its cross-sectional area is 300 millimeter into 200 millimeter I mean it's the length and is the width and the height of the column is 6 meter 6 meter uh, height of this column so here we all know that effective length of fixed support is fixed supported column is L equal to 0 0.5 L the reference is uh, strength of materials by Singer okay so we all know that effective length of fixed support column is L equal to 0 0.5 L I mean elements effective length what will be the effective length uh, 0.5 times of total length of the or total height of the column okay so how will be it l equal to 0 0.5 into 6 equal to 3 meters so our effective length is 3 meter after that we know that rs equal to le divided by b minimum what is the B minimum? What is L? L means the effective length. RS here, RS I have denoted by cylinderness ratio. I am mean ratio of cylinderness. Cylinderness ratio equal to L divided by B minimum. What is B minimum? Has the we are seeing that here a value 300 millimeter and another value is 200 millimeter. I mean the this says this side dimension is 300 millimeter and the, this set's dimension are 200 millimeters so we have seen our de uh, definition that the lat latest I mean if we see back here latest lateral dimension or the lateral, the lateral, lateral dim dimension the latest lateral dimension will be 
200 okay our latest lateral dimension will be 200 cos uh, 300 here 300 is more than 200 so it will be the less one so we'll consider all as the little one so 200 so if we go here so r is equal to 3 divided by 0 0.2 because uh, if we divided 0 point, uh, 200 by 1000 then it will be 0 0.2 because uh, uh, our L is in meter so we have to convert that in same dimension then if, if we go here R is equal to 15 if we calculate that we will find R is equal to 15 so we are seeing that R S is greater than 12 so which steps of column it is I'm just questioning you uh, which steps of column it is if you find out that give a comment okay so now I'm telling you it is a long column it is a long column because our in condition we have seen that the cylinder ratio is more than 12 then it is known as long column so I think uh, it is clear to you that what is long column or what is short column and um, if we found that our RS is less than 12 here then or equal to 12 then it is short column and it is very very important now a question which types of column will use in construction or who is types of column are good for our construction use always short column are good okay short column are very good for construction because um for uh, we know that for long column it will the buckling will cr uh, create it that's why the building can be fail or building can be move at the time of earthquake but um when it will fail by shear then it should be work with the reinforcement okay so you have to it's uh, it's have to break the reinforcement and it will share failure but uh, the buckling is very easy because our reinforcement will not provide uh, i mean reinforcement will not help very much when it is uh, fail in buckling okay so that's why the long column is very good and uh, actually the column we use in our construction i mean our floor to floor height or always we consider as 10 feet 12 feet like that okay 10 feet 12 feet maximum 15 feet or something okay and uh, then our column dimension are being very lengthy so i mean our column dimension are big than that so maximum time we used short column maximum time we use short column in our building okay so this is a good question that uh, if someone tell that which types of column we used in our building so it is it is a good answer that all is maximum time i mean in maximum ti time we used short column in our building or in our construction according to its height and shape suppose if we use a um, column like 12 feet okay or 10 feet f as generally for house building it's 10 feet or 12 feet it's max max uh, it's generally it's 10 feet so for 10 feet column its dimension should be 3 millimeter to 200 millimeter like that so it will be a short column and uh, in this way actually we can find out that uh, our short column or long column and also the effective column which will be to use in building and which types of failure will be more serious for our building so I think it was helpful for you and if you think that that is helpful for you press the like button and also leave a comment and your own comment and your own like inspire me for the future work and if you are new to my channel you can support me by staying with us so thank you thank you very much s12 stay connected till next video with 
interesting video i'll try to come again so thank you thank you very much